What is up everyone? Welcome back to Octopath Traveler 2. So I got new skills to learn here. Let's see for somebody. Maybe it's equip a uh No, it is learn new skill somewhere. Oh I bet it's oh, okay, it's over here. Yeah, I can learn like more scholar stuff for throwing a uh, we got the scholar sub job, I think, a couple episodes ago, or the last episode, one or the other. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to start up Throne Ace Chapter 2, uh, Father's Route. And then we also have the Winter Bloom Route for um, Casty here, but it's 24. This, this one's lower level, so we'll do it first. Let's see what happens. Father told me when you have finished your job, come and join me in Winterbloom. He failed to give me any other details, but he never does. I believe the snakes have a stronghold on the outskirts. He'll be there. I'm sure of it. I should learn more about this job and wait for an opening. Yeah, we explored the thief's quarters in the last in the last episode. I've already done Kill, father. I've already done um all the path actions in this particular area. Uh well the ones that I could do anyway. Some some people I couldn't steal from and all that. Cause they were it was either too low a percentage or they were too high a strength to mug them. Uh but I got a majority of the people. I'll come back later for the rest. So we're good on that. I don't need to like, I don't need to like do anything around here really. Just head to the storyline. Yep, this quarter. We will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Just gotta go in here, yep. There's a tavern. He's not here. There's usually nobody here in the tavern during the day, but if you switch to nighttime, it'll um, there'll be people here. Well, well, look who showed up. It's a thug. You really are a beauty. Hmm? Why don't you come have some fun with us? I don't have time to play with children. Wow. <laughs> How about you take a look around? There's three of us and only one of you. Uh technically there's uh four characters in my party, but whatever you want to say, Guys, dude. We were told we could have our way with you. Go ahead and try. So be a good girl and we'll make it worth your while. <laughs> I've had more than I can stand of these brats. Time to put them to bed. Gonna ambush him, I guess, or yep, gotta ambush him. Haha, -ha, I like a woman with some fight in her. I suggest you behave like a good little girl. Oh, come on already. I can't wait any longer. Good night. I'd rather just fight him, honestly. <laughs> well done, my girl. Father. Father. Neither dead nor alive, robbed only of their movement. <laughs> it takes an experienced hand to perform a feat like that. Thank you. Children these days are so sad. A few leaves is all it takes to win someone's obedience. I told them a beautiful woman would be visiting, and that they could take whatever liberties they wanted with her. <laughs> I'm 
sure they're dreaming of you as we speak. <laughs> oh, don't look so cross, girl. I was only joking. Enough. I deal with your antics every time we work together. But you've grown because of it. You're the best in the nest now. I take it you finished the last job then. Was that also meant as a joke? You mean tricking my children into killing each other? <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I want you to be my successor. Once we finish this job, the throne's all yours. So I wonder which one of the two is going to be the final boss of Throne's final chapter. Is it going to be father or mother? I bet it's going to be mother, right? She seems like the one that's more in charge than father. I don't, I don't know, though. tell you more when we get there. Come find me when you're ready. I'll be waiting on the eastern side of town. Understood. Wait, e eastern eastern part of town. <laughs> They're still uh ambushed. I guess fathers are the same everywhere. <laughs> I would hope not. Always Pushing their children to do the impossible. Well, some I would say probably do that. Like, like let's say your father's like a professional football player. Out, out of just an example, they probably want to push their kid to be a football player like them. You know. And then sometimes that's not the case, and fathers don't really want the same life for their kid. You know. It's just different for everybody, you know. Your father, too. When I was a chickadee, we got our hands on this humongous melon. Wow, you you were touching boobs that young? I'm kidding. Pops wanted to share it with the... Wow, wanted to share, share, share boobs with the neighbors, huh? So he told me to cut it into eight. Oh, that's a little gruesome, though. Cut it into eight pieces. Oh, that's that's a bit much. That poor woman. He said if any of them um, was even a seed heavier, it was no good. He gave me an earful when I said it wasn't possible. Said we had to be fair. Else the neighbors would be unhappy. I can imagine people fight over treasure all the time. Made me sad thinking of people squabbling over something small like that. So I got each of them their own giant melon. Wow. So you found a woman with an even giant, even bigger melon, huh? Ha, <laughs> impressive. Yeah. Neighbors were grinning from ear to ear. Yeah, I'd imagine so. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I can't. <laughs> but I used up a bundle of leaves in the process. So we were stuck. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. I, I got to stop because it's, it's, I keep, keep laughing. So we were stuck eating stir-fried veggies for days in the end. I got myself another earful from Pops. I wouldn't have seen that coming. Dang. <laughs> there you are. As I expected, no openings, even from behind. But father is sure to let us guard down sometime. 
The moment he strikes the killing blow on his target. No matter how skilled the assassin, they haven't a thought to spare on anything else at that moment. That's my opening. That's when I will kill father. So you have him kill someone else and then you kill him. Wow. Okay. Come here. <laughs> That's a lesson for the kids. Revenge. There are thieves killed that call this town home. No, oh, I look at it like this. Like don't do anything bad to someone and they won't get revenge on you, you know? If someone gets revenge on you, like, if I did something wrong to somebody, right, and they get revenge on me, that's on me, right? Because I shouldn't have done that person wrong to begin with, right? That's why I pretty much never done anybody wrong in my life. Like, I haven't done anything, like, really bad to anybody, you know? And I wouldn't do that because risk that person getting revenge, you know? Just be a good person, right? Death to traitors. Precisely. But no, revenge ain't really worth it though. There's but some, I still don't blame people for like if I do someone if I personally do someone wrong now if someone else does someone but uh, else wrong I don't think it's right. But for me personally, with my beliefs, like um, yeah, I, I wouldn't really really blame someone for getting revenge on myself honestly if I if I do wrong if I do somebody wrong our job is to infiltrate the hideout and eliminate the leader of the snow hands you will take the lead throne I will provide support support father and I have worked countless jobs together but he was always the one to deliver the final blow we both knew that his dagger wouldn't miss. What is he thinking? Could he have seen through my plan? What's the matter, Throne? This is no more than a test to see what you're truly capable of. Uh, this is... unexpected. Now I have to do the job and wait for another chance. Understood, Father. Do you remember our first job, Throne? <laughs> Why? I want to know if you've grown used to the smell of blood. No. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. What business have you here? Eh, nothing, just gonna ambush you. Good night. Killing him would be safer. Corpses don't come after you. <laughs> but I refuse to spill blood unless I must. I hate the way it makes me feel. Honorable thief. When did my hands begin to waver? Please, don't kill me! Go on, give it a try. I can't do it. You're still young and naive, Throne. You're wasting your sympathy. He's the worst sort of scum there is. Come now, Throne. Once you kill him, you'll understand. You'll see how intoxicating the smell of blood can be. Soon enough, you'll want to spread it on your bread like butter. Oh, uh, what the heck, dude? That's messed up, bro. <laughs> the 
lack of grass. Strawberry on bread. <laughs> I don't know if that's very good either, though. Is born with the gift. The but I guess it'd be better than blood. All with the job. Only we can do. It is our fate. Your gift was wielding a dagger through. If you want to live, you must learn to kill. Wow. Reminds me of Leon from Swiggin' in 5. When she was a kid, uh, she was brainwashed to basically... She was part of Nether Gate and their group of assassins. And um, Leon was really young when she was part of that group. And she'd obviously kill or whatever. as I expected. How was it, my dear? The smell of blood. I hate it. Ever since then, I killed just the way father taught me. <laughs> I can't remember how many lives I've taken. My hands are forever tainted with the stench of blood. But soon, soon I will put this life behind me. True. Upstairs first. Nothing up here. Must be a, like a hidden... Snow Hair's Den. Danger level 16. You there. Please, please. Please help me. If you don't, they'll sell me away. Uh, I heard a rumor. Say the snow hairs kidnap girls for trade. Also, kind of like um, Romancing Saga Minstrel Song. Uh, there was like a slave trader group in um, uh, South and North Estamere. Well, I don't know about North Estamere, but South Estamere. Getting a flashback of herself. I will help you, but after my job here is done. Sit tight. Thank you. You're a kind woman. Now, to find out who's behind all this. Yep, let's go through this area. Snow hair's den. <laughs> we can actually coerce her. Can't steal from her though. Is something wrong? It's not often I hear you sigh. I was just thinking about how very dangerous your journey is. Heh. Or ha. This is my everyday detective. I'm beginning to understand where that indomitability of yours comes from. Did you say something? But at the very least, the villains around you look perfectly villainous. It is almost refreshing. Why, thank you. Around me, most villains tend to pose as saints. Of course they do. There's evil everywhere you go in this world, true. I suppose we we think that because villains tend to gather around good people. Heh. You mean, or ha, you mean to say that I'm a good person? One disguised as a villain, yes.
Let me go ahead and heal up my MP some here. Ah, oh, crap, I'm out of, um, plums. Time. <laughs> Where was I? Are you all <laughs> Oh dear. Are you all Here we go. A woman being held captive by the snow hares after her family was killed. She was taken to their hideout to be sold off. She contemplated death in her despair but found a glimmer of hope at their meeting throne. Eh? I believe you. I'll be waiting right here until you get back. Alright, let me slow it down because we got new enemies here. We got Ice Guardian and Snow Hare. Multi-freeze. Bring, Bring it on. Ain't much, but... Much 540, not bad. Ready? Fire, burn. Fire, burn. All right, gotta wait here. To work. Be here. Thanks. Go ahead and collect next turn. It's my turn now. Bring it on. Much appreciated. There are five hundred forty there. Clarity. Twenty seven hundred damage, wow. Fighting is not what I do. Well, you gotta learn to fight, bro. Healing grape M. Let's go this way first, maybe. I don't know which way to go. Hey, that's what we're doing right now. We're let's playing. I'm just getting... Almost gave it to the wrong person. I'm investing in you. Don't even need Oswald in the party. You got thrown a casting, casting spells. Okay, we got no enemy here. Bring it on. Uh, we got cur creator, or cur curator, or whatever, however you pronounce it. Oh, weak to staff. Very well. Holy Six hundred seventy. Give me that money. What? Wow. Almost four grand there. Pick the sword. Ready? Where was I? Appreciate it. 
It's not bad amount of money, a thousand eighty for both those. There we go, her sword's pretty weak. Gotta equip another sword on her. Nice, got some levels there. Need to equip a better sword. Better axe, too. Forgot to do that because I switched her job to an engineer. Let's see. Let's go to the other path first. Um, before going that way. All in a day's work. I suggest you get out of my way. Okay, we gotta get yet again another new enemy. We got Dire Ash Raven. Yeah, it was kind of obvious because they're a bird enemy. It's my turn now. Oh Make a dagger as well. So sorry. Poison sting. They all missed their attacks. That's hilarious. Because they were blinded. No need to be Dang it. Come on, man. 88%, bro. Lily of the Light. I'll oh, weak the light too. I didn't want to miss 99% so I just went ahead and boosted there. Or 98% whatever. May the sacred flame guide you. Man, um is gonna be like so high a level by the time we're don't know if all these chapters, because he's being he's gonna be in through the whole game pretty much. That's the way we gotta go. Let's go the other way. Howdy there, friend. Cleaning time. Fire burn. I'm just getting warmed up. It doesn't matter. Sacred flame guide you, or something like that. I usually only click from like new enemies, though. I'm not gonna bother to click from every enemy unless I can get maybe if I can get merchants later. If I get multiple merchants, then I might do it, but ready, but I don't think it's worth it really. I want to kill the enemies as quickly as possible here. I'm trying to save her points so she can get that ability. So. Let's 
spiriting plum. All right, let's go to the other path now. Yeah, if you want a lot of job points, stuff would pick the merchant because um, they got that arrow of fortune, which gives you a lot of a lot of JP. That adds up. That you may be thinking only six, but if you're using that throughout the whole game, that's a lot of that's a lot of JP. Oh, she's got MP. What a tantrum that was. It wasn't even that big of a tantrum, bro. It wasn't hard at all, in fact. Alright, let's start using the canoe. She's a little low on MP is the problem. Or SP, whatever. So used to Final Fantasy. Thank you. So used to Final Fantasy. So we can go this way. And we can also go the other way too. Shadow Soulstone M. There's multiple paths to take here. Yeah, we already fought all these enemies as well. Wow, oh, 20 JP for that one. Wow, oh, quite a bit of JP from that battle. Aha! Quartz Dagger. Mm, ooh! Has a lot of elemental attack. Which is what I got her using anyway. It has a swim chance to reduce elemental defense too. It's not too bad. I like that. Make her more of a mage. Okay, we got new to me here. We got shrewd fossilized fish. Maybe I should get lightning bolt. Four hundred thirty-two. Since I already collected from it. What to do? Thanks. Group clarity. There. I take what I want. Alright, but he's a level thirty two. Way higher level than the other characters. Well, not way higher than Throne A, but higher than the other characters. Let's see, this should lead to another chest, probably. Hmm, maybe not. Fire, burn. Who's next? 
Timino slumbled up and so did Agnia. Lily of the Light. There should be one more chest, right? Because I'm pretty sure I saw one more, right? If that's all, I'm to send an episode here. And then the next episode will finish this area. But I thought there was one more. I guess not, though. Fool's Leaf. Okay. Whoa, I can get the final... Aber's Reckoning. Divine skill. Unleash a powerful dagger attack on all foes. The greater your speed, the more potent the attack. Okay. So we want stuff to boost her speed. make that do more damage. So it probably won't do much damage right now. But later it'll probably do quite a bit. Alright guys, that'll be it for this episode. Thank, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.